Hello, welcome to Microsoft Azure Cloud Channel. In this module, we will talk about Content Delivery Network on Azure. And we will discuss how CDN works, what are the requirements, and what are Azure CDN features. And we will log into Azure portal. We will integrate a storage account and create a CDN profile and an endpoint and enable CDN. What is a content delivery network on Azure? A content delivery network is a distributed network of servers that can efficiently deliver web content to users. CDNs store cached content on edge servers in point of presence location that are close to end users to minimize latency. Azure Content Delivery Network lets you reduce load times, save bandwidth, and speed responsiveness whether you are developing or managing websites or mobile apps or encoding and distributing streaming media, gaming software, firmware updates, or IoT endpoints. Content delivery network works seamlessly with Azure services, including web apps, media services, storage, and cloud services. Content delivery network easily handles sudden traffic spikes and heavy loads. For example, during major product launches or global sporting events without new infrastructure costs or capacity constraints. Azure CDN integrates with services from Acma and Verizon, enabling customers to select the right solution for their needs. The benefits of using Azure CDN to deliver websites assets include better performance and improved user experience for end users, especially when using applications in which multiple round trips are required to load content. Large scaling to better handle instant, instantaneous high loads, such as the start of a product launch event. Distribution of user request and serving content directly from edge servers so that less traffic is sent to the origin server. How it works. How content delivery network works. If you see in the diagram, a user requests a file by using a URL with a special domain name such as example test.azureedge.net this name can be an endpoint host name or a custom domain the dns routes the request to the best performing point of presence location which is usually the point of presence that is geographically closest to the user if no edge servers in the point of presence have the file in their cache the point of presence requests the file from the origin server. The origin server can be an Azure Web Apps, Azure Cloud Service, Azure Storage Account, or any publicly accessible web server. The origin server returns the file to an edge server in the point of presence. An edge server in the point of presence caches the file and returns the file to the original requester. The file remains cached on the edge server in the point of presence until the time to leave specified by its HTTP headers expires. If the origin server didn't specify a TTL, the default TTL is seven days. TTL means time to leave. Additional users can then request the same file by using the same URL that Alice used and can also be directed to the same point of presence. If the TTL for the file hasn't expired, 
the point of presence edge server returns the file directly from the cache this process this process results in a faster more responsive user experience requirement to use azure cdn you must own at least one azure subscription you also need to create at least one cdn profile which is a collection of cdn endpoints every cdn endpoint represents a specific configuration of content delivery behavior and access to organize your cdn endpoints by internet domain web application or some other criteria you can use multiple profiles limitations each azure subscription has default limits for the following resources the number of cdn profiles that can be created the number of endpoints that can be created in a cdn profile the number of custom domains that can be mapped to an endpoint azure content delivery network features azure content delivery network offers the following key features dynamic site acceleration cdn caching rules https custom domain support azure diagnostics logs file compression geo filtering we will log into azure portal and i will show you how to create a cdn profile and an endpoint first we will create a storage account and we will create a cdn profile and an endpoint i'm logging into azure portal So we go to home on the web portal and then go to search, just type storage account. So I'll create one storage account and then after that I'll create a CDN profile and an endpoint. I'll just say CDN test storage account. Oh, this is a resource group. Let's just say Syrian resource group. And then storage account name. I'll just say Syrian test storage account one. Then location East US. Replication locally redundant storage. Let's go to networking connectivity meter let's keep this public endpoint at once let's keep every setting same let's go to review plus create let's create this storage account creating storage account might take one or a few minutes our storage account created let's go to resource now we have storage account is available in CDN RG resource group. Now let's go to home. Just go to search, just type CDN. CDN means content delivery network. Let's click on CDN profiles under the services. So click add. Now we are creating a CDN profile. So just say this CDN profile name, CDN test one, subscription, and then resource group. I will just keep it in the same resource group, CDN iPhone RG. And this resource group location is US and pricing type standard Microsoft. There are different pricing plans, but here you can see Pricing is loaded. S1 standard Verizon, S2 standard ECMA, S3 standard Microsoft, P1 premium Verizon. So I'll just pick this S3 standard Microsoft. 
and you can see here the price 0 0.023 minute us dollar per gb up to 10 terabytes okay let's create let's select this s3 stand your microsoft and then we need to create a new cdn endpoint now let's create new cdn endpoint and then cdn endpoint name we need to give cdn say storage account test one it is available now our cdn endpoint name cdn storage account test one dot azure h dot net and origin type storage service then origin host name cdn test storage account one dot blog dot core dot window so let's create this cdn profile and endpoint we can see it here in the notification creating a cdn profile now our cdn profile is created let's go to cdn profile so here we can see it host name cdn storage account test one dot azure h dot net status running origin type storage after we enable Azure CDN access to a storage account, all publicly available objects are eligible for CDN point of presence caching. If we modify an object that's currently cached in CDN, the new content will not be available via Azure CDN until Azure CDN refreshes its content after the, after the TTL period for the cached content expires. In this module, we created a CDN profile and an endpoint in a same resource group. So this is how you create CDN profile and enable endpoint. If you have any questions on this content delivery network, you can post it in the comment section. Please provide the feedback and please post if you have any questions. Please post in the comment section. Thank you.